Welcome to the Old Man Parkour Shoot with Cannon. It's gonna be a good one. Let's go. This is the XC10, Canon's new 4K camera. It's super lightweight and super cool. The XC10 is awesome on shoots like these where it's more gorilla and run and gun style. It's so lightweight and so easy to set up. It's easy to throw onto a gimbal like a Movi or, or even a glide cam. For me, the 4K, first of all, is future-proofing it because everything is turning 4K. But aside from that, there's a lot of opportunities where we license this footage to 4K companies who want to show off higher cinematic 4K footage. Sorry, old man. I'll get oh, it back. My king. You'll come around the corner and hear the screaming. You'll say, hey! One alpha, take one, Mark. It was me and the camera and autofocus. We shot the entire thing in autofocus. We actually shot it in nine hours. This camera blew me away. No! We just did this shot where I was down low and I rushed him really quick and came up to him and I used the face recognition feature. Nailed it. Nobody calls me old man. A lot of cameras claim to have different autofocus and facial recognition, but it actually does it 99% of the time. We are going to glue Braxton into a silicone full pullover old man mask. You're <laughs> <laughs> so in such good shape, old man. See, we're really pushing the camera's uh, limits here, shooting in half shadow, half sun. We were told the camera had approximately 12 stops of latitude, and I was like, I don't believe it. We pushed the limits on this to see how much could we save in the highlights, how much could we crush the blacks or bring up the blacks. We kind of went all across the board. The Canon Log, which is a color profile, is pretty mind-blowing. It gives us more of a flat image, more dynamic range. Using a DJI S1000 custom fit with the Mobi M5. We're gonna be doing some pretty difficult flying. This first shot is in the alleyway. It's pretty tight quarters. Hoping that the wind stays down, but you always gotta be really cautious when flying in these tight quarters and in the city. It is very light camera. When you're doing aerials, that's one of the most important things is the weight of the camera. Story-wise, we find there's so much content on YouTube that people are just thumbing through, so it has to be told quick. Now that I've seen how easy it is to throw on an aerial or throw on a gimbal, I just want to push those limits further. I want to mount it on a car or on a person even. I just want to see how far we can push it. 